now we're cooking. Oh God, so shaky. All right, let's see the reactions here. I wish we could see what songs are available to them too. I think it's just a little bit blurry because of the distance that they're at. Oh no, oh yeah, no. It. Yeah, it's just the distance. And then uh, the lights are off in the venue too. But it looks like they've completed their card draws. Let's go ahead and bring it back over here. Let's see who's picked what side. I see MCAT stepping on the player two side. So I think it's Malia player one and MCAT player two. Yes, that is. looks like that's what it is. I'm going to swap the players because I think they're on the opposite sides. Is this the draw? Yeah, it is. All right, so I think for the women's non it's still a two out of three. But the player from the loser side has to win two in order to win the tournament. Whereas the MCAT, if I'm sure most people are familiar with double elimination formats for now, but for those who are not, you must lose twice to be out of the tournament. So MCAT has been undefeated so far in the event. Dance. This one's a really, um, compared to a lot of the other 23s, it's considered one of the easier ones in comparison. Um, it's primarily a lot of eighth notes, a little bit of a decent amount of tech in the chorus, some uh, short little streams here and there, and a drill to watch out for. But one of the deciding factors of this chart could actually be the opening of the song, which starts off on a slowdown. Especially in a venue like this where there's a lot of background noise going on, timing the first notes will be really crucial to um, establish a lead in the little song. Yeah, so MCAT coming out of that with full combo. Malia just tripping up just a little bit, but you know, she still has a lot of opportunities to make up room in this song. Very jarring seeing the differences in the difficult flows between the lower division and the upper division. Just seeing 23s in the draw now. This has some really cool tech on it where you're gonna do a foot switch onto the center pan on the center freeze right there to kind of hop back and forth between the notes to resolve it. And then you'll see some notes, the center notes indicated by the mines to foot switch there as well couple of little cheeky brackets there. And then for the most part, this ending part is mostly eight notes that are double steppable with one drill coming up here. Beautifully executed by MCAT on that one. I think fatigue is starting to hit Malia a little bit because she's been playing every dance game today, starting at 10 a.m. She was in the first ITG pool, then she played DDR, and then she had to play SMX right after with pretty much no break in between. But that's okay. Coming up next, we have Malia's Protect. Justify My Love, the old DDR classic here. This one's a pretty chill song. I feel like this one plays a lot more to Malia's skill set from when I've seen her play in the past. Also, just like a really awesome song to listen to in general. Going to song two of grand finals of women's non-binary. MCAT is up one to zero currently.
out for a little bit. Yep. Wow, going to the break of the song, both players maintaining a gold combo there. Alright, going to the second chorus here. MCAT with a lead, but not too far behind. Malia is really close and has a lot of potential to catch up here. Oh no. Very high 99s for both players. Grand Finals is a two out of three. Let me just test this out really quick with the scenes here. All right, we're about to do announcements for women's non-binary, so. Let's go ahead and swap to this camera so I can see what's happening here. Don't you love when you have to give yourself the prizes, the TO? Right, we're about to do a group photo here. We're doing it live with a webcam here. We love the podium photos very much. 